Film taken recently by the US 9th Air Force has a very different angle on war in the air. Marauders, cooperating in the reduction of the Rundstedt salient, use Pathfinder technique in attacking supply centers at Wittlich, Germany. And marauders attacking a railway bridge over the Moselle ran into very heavy flak. A direct hit on a nearby plane was recorded by one of the cameramen. Down on the ground, the enemy salient had been shrinking fast. Field Marshal Montgomery attacked from the north. Our pictures show men of the American First Army on the job. It was reported that Rundstedt appeared to have withdrawn most of his armour from this sector, but that his infantry, mostly Volksgrenadieren, were fighting stubborn, delaying actions. Anyway, good progress was made by the Americans. They fought the weather and they fought the German rear guards, driving them back and taking prisoners, including many wounded. Long before this first army attack, the British had been in action against Rundstedt's drive towards the Meuse. This part of the film dispatch shows the river itself and the sort of hilly, wooded country in which a lot of the fighting took place. As for the weather, well, that seems to have been the same on every sector. British armour moving up to the front found roads covered with ice, and the tanks did quite a bit of skating. But the Hun got no respite in spite of the weather. Here are British mobile guns pounding away at Rundstedt's retreating Wehrmacht. In the south, the Americans had clung to Bastogne right through the critical days of the German offensive. This is the place they held with such gallantry and resolution while Monte was tidying up the battlefield in the north. And here is Major General Taylor, two stars, congratulating Brigadier General McAuliffe on his defence of Bastogne, certainly a notable contribution to the defeat of Rundstedt's ambitions. Large numbers of prisoners have been taken, and one American cameraman stresses the fact that most of them are very despondent now, in comparison with those taken when they were still attacking. Seems natural enough. The bulge was shrinking fast, and if the Allies had not yet succeeded in winning a sensational victory, they had driven the Hun back, and they'd inflicted heavy losses in men and material. American tank destroyers were very effective in a variety of jobs. While most encouraging news of Stalin's end the war offensive comes from the east, we can be sure of something else too. The Battle of the Bulge may have delayed, but will not prevent the Allied defeat of Germany in the west as well. <laughs> 